Get me the Ardealis safe combination, and I take care of them Pendleton twins for you. All clean-like. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. Slackjaw. Horus raised him. He'll never know his father was a prince. He deals in flesh, weapons, strong drink. They've always called him Slackjaw. He knows the streets of Dunwall, especially its dark alleys, as well as any man. If ever in doubt, which is often, he uses the knife. He and his thugs started in Trooper's Alley. Now his influence is felt over the entire island of Bristol. Slackjaw. Horus raised him. He'll never know his father was a prince. Slackjaw! It's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. Who is right? There is someone. His father was one of the first to die of the play. A street thug. A knife for hire. The brothels sprang up around the distilleries. They are inseparable. Got anything to smoke or eat? Psh. Hungry? Well, don't eat river crust. It'll make you sick as a bucket. Hurry, gone! Attention, Dunwall citizens. This district is now under a mandatory whale oil ban. Compliance will be strictly enforced.
Here, Morris was dragged off by the overseers for some black magic nonsense. I don't need shit from you. Mudlark, let a tramp like you get elixir. We've been on half a beach. Thank you, thank you, sir. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. I can't thank you enough, stranger. Thank you, sir. I mean it. You showed such bravery. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Chances are very good.
show you. You want me to lose my job? Get lost. Excuse me. Oh, just trying to make a living. no proof. The rats are the proof. They're still just rats. Just rats? Rats that can strip a corpse to nothing in seconds. That's from the continent. I got a cousin, a traitor. Said he saw shit like that, and much, much worse. <clears throat> Even if you're right, what do we do? Send a fleet to the continent. Burn the whole country down. That it show. Never doubt it. Ivory room? No, too expensive.
lost track of them again. Morgan's in the steam room downstairs tonight. Is it safe in there? Because I've heard rumors. If one of them gets hurt, I'll lose my job. Oh, that's just the girls talking. It's nothing. Pressure builds up in the pipes and, well, it almost never happens. I'll make sure they never mention it again. Anyhow, Morgan insisted to be in the steam room tonight. He's so picky. Custis is easier to manage. Some nights he just waits in the gold room and talks to a girl. It's funny what people will pay for. girl again. The one I told you about. You realize you're at the Golden Cat, right? Yeah, but she's different. She really likes me. <laughs> Wonder if anyone would notice if this was gone. are here. You're supposed to be on duty. Come on. You're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe this. You said you weren't even drunk. Wake up. So Finally. I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bonham? Not just like last time, understand? Slowly. And only trigger the shock at my command. safe word tonight will be retribution, let's say. You hear that, you stop. One shock out of line and you are out of a job. Stay focused, please. Tell you love your work. Oh, 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 that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I cheated them, robbed them of thousands. Careful, I have a condition. You're ruthless! Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. I deserve it. The 
Stick to the script, please. Ah! Ah! Retribution! Retribution! Ah, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Ah! We're done, I said! Retribution! Now let me out! I'll have you whipped, you bitch! Stop! You kill me! Ah! What the? Who is this? What do you want? The safe. Yes, of course. The combination is six nine six. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip.
Did you hear what that little girl did? No. She's cute. Amy or... Escape. Somehow she found the VIP exit. Really? Yes, Prudence keeps it locked now, and she carries the only key. Why is she here anyway? Is she some niece of the Pendletons? No idea. They keep her hidden away. Let me know if you want to take my patrol. Shut up. That mask. Corvo? Corvo, it's you! You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and in the prison, dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. 
it's this way. The door is locked. Unlock it so we can get away from this place. This place is on the river, so you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. This place is very strange. They...
I don't know. Some kind of mask, he said. He didn't get a good look. Did he say something? I hear he didn't say a word. But he went through the place like the outsider himself. Maybe the plague's driven him crazy. He didn't fight the plague, man. He had discipline. Mark me. You get that mask off, and you'll see a weeper. You know what I think? He's one of downs. That's how he fought. Like a shadow. You've been reading too many scary novels. You think I'm scared? So shaking like a little girl. Go jump off Colbert's bridge. Morgan will be in there all night. More coin for us. Though we'd make even more if they didn't blow it on prostitutes. My cousin's a foreman at their mine. He says the slaves have dug half a mile down, so deep they're dying by the dozen from collapse or fumes. With the silvers almost gone. That's exactly right. Looks like they're gonna gamble they and stay drink everything until it's gone. The conservative position gets changed. But not in the month of September. Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was born a courtesan, Lord Pendleton? I was a clerk to Lord Estermont. Before... Ah. What happened to old Estermont? The rats did. An old sewer line led under his office in Parliament. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed. I they believe the so. The other lords barricaded him in to save themselves. The screams lasted hours. He begged and called them by name, but they let him die. to dinner now that my sweet little birds come to grant
Danny won't hurt you. It's good to see you again, dear. But don't dally, or that young girl might fall in the river. My gentleman callers don't come around like they used to. You took care of it for me, didn't you? That's nice. Who's that? I can't see. No, don't go. Let Granny Rags tell you a story. It won't cost you anything at all. Which would you like? The history of the great city of Dunois? No, no, that's not for you. No, no. You want the tale of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Regal, fair-minded, she brought prosperity to the city, hope to all. Then, violently murdered these six months ago. Nothing's been the same since her death. Poor child. Her spirit lives on, trapped, misused. And for what purpose? But here's the worst part. It was a man she trusted over all others that did the deed. They say he's in league with the Outsider. And that he won't rest until everyone in Dunwall is dead. Dead and cold. <laughs> now, Granny Rags has told you a tale. So maybe you'll tell it to someone else later. Change up the ending a bit if you want, huh? No coin. Granny won't forget. No, she won't. Have you seen him? The handsome one with the beautiful dark eyes. I just want to tell him I'm doing my part. Yes, Granny Rags is doing her part. Tell him, won't you, if you see him? Stop fussing with my collar, Mama. The dance is starting soon. Is my hair smooth enough? He's sure to be there. Little birds, I've got some seed for you. They'll do what Granny says. I hear them laughing, but then they'll see what I can do. No, no, don't take anything else. I did what you said. It's just they wouldn't listen. Give me one more chance, won't you, darling? Let me prove myself to you. Did you see his eyes? We're to be married, and soon, too, in front of one of his shrines. Once I finish this one last task. Just a sweet old woman, blind and helpless. Take no mind of me. Let me go about my business. Don't you give me any trouble. Granny Rags can't see, but she's got the sight. Understand? Nothing's ever easy with you, is it? What a state you're in. Now I'll have to set the dogs on you. Finish the job. Why? Because I need someone.
Slackjaw's wanting to meet with you. You brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking mines. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. Shop.
picked up anything good? Huh. Dunwall citizens, this district is now under a mandatory whale oil ban. Compliance will be strictly enforced.
I met your friend Samuel. He's going to show me how to steer this boat. Samuel and I were worried about you, Corvo. Ready when you are. This place is rotten. Samuel says the hound pits is nicer. An old lady helped me find my way to the boat. She seemed a little strange, though. Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. This old boat ready. Scrape off a few barnacles. Don't want you inside. No need to keep this old sailor company. What Pendleton's been through tonight, no telling how that tears a man up. The Admiral will want a word with you, I expect. Break it to Pendleton gently, will you? The poor man's had a shock. Ask me for any gear you need.
Ask me for any gear you need. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Where's Wallace? Wallace! You're promoted wherever you are. Head lackey. I suppose this means I'll have to have children, or else recognize one of my bastards. This will be a new beginning for the Pendletons. I'll make sure of that. Lord of Pendleton Manor. If Waverly could see me now. I don't want to look around right now. Of course. We can give you the tour later, when you've rested. I was wondering... Do you think my mother is really dead? I saw her get stabbed, but maybe she was still alive and got better. Is that possible? I'm sorry, Emily. But no. She did not survive. Oh. Did you go to her funeral? Was it fancy and beautiful? A train of carriages rode through the city. It was very beautiful. Flowers everywhere. And thousands of people wept because they will miss her. I wish I could have seen it. I'm sorry, dear. I've been planning for Emily. Lesson plans are together. A schedule is prepared. We will make life as normal as possible here. The horror she has seen. But all that's almost over. Now is my time to show my worth in this coalition. I knew this was why they brought me here, but I didn't want to say it out loud lest it not happen. Superstitious, I know. I mean, this place isn't as pretty as the Golden Cat, but I like it better anyway. You can see the tower across the river from here. That's where my mother died. Sometimes I wonder about the man who stabbed my mother. Who was he? So I get to stay in the smaller tower while I live here. That'll be good practice. I like Samuel. Perhaps we can take another boat ride soon. Identified or suspicious river traffic to the 
City Watch. Hello, Mr. Corville. I'll be getting on with my work then. The Admiral says sound travels for miles over water. I'm afraid even to sneeze. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? I feel like a ghost. I've been practicing my curtsy, but it's not going well. I don't mind helping Wallace. He gives me the dirty work, but that's what I do. I'm accepting of that. Someone has to do it, right? It is a difficult time for the family. Perhaps... we should not speak. I must fetch the mourning garments. His lordship has never looked well in black. If only there had been another way. I have always hoped to see the Pendleton name redeemed. For the first time in years, it seems possible. I hope his lordship is taking this well. Pendleton, I mean. I do worry about the poor man. I'll be giving your quarters a good scrubbing. I hope you don't mind having a lady in your room. Or silk walkers in their work. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emma. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then.